All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But first, what's up, all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. If you don't do nothing else, this is the best jump shot in the game for big men. It just is. It might look slow, it might be ugly, but let me tell you something. It goes in at a high clip, and you can be dependent upon, you can be dependent on to shoot this shot. You can hit whites, you can hit uh, greens, oh, obviously you're gonna hit your greens, but you understand what I'm trying to tell you, man. This jump shot is easily the best jump shot I've put together for a big man. And uh, like I said, it happened by mistake, but I ended up, I'm trying to look at his foot, that's why I'm not shooting greens right now, because I'm trying to make sure that if I'm close to that line, my foot is not crossing that line when I'm when I'm taking the shot because that is how I designed this jump shot. So if I miss a couple of these, y'all, you know, don't bear with me. But like right now, I'm, I'm just gonna look at his hand and uh, and hit and hit some of these so y'all can tell, like like the tail on the shot and all that. And as always, the tail is when his hand goes flat. That's when you're gonna want to let it go, and you're gonna want to let it fly. But look. The biggest thing about this jump shot is, like I said, it goes in as a high clip. And as a big man, that's all you want. So if you got a jump shot and your shot is below 70, I mean, it's like it's like 60, I mean, you know, in the 70s or the, you know, high 60s, low 70s, this is what you want to be using as a big man. And the reason I feel like you want to be using this as a big man is because, like I said, it might not be the, it might not be the prettiest, it might not be the fastest, but as a big man, most of the time when you take shots, bro, you're going to be wide open. Let's be real. You're going to be wide open because nobody's going to expect you to be able to hit the shots. So if nobody's expecting you to hit the shot, there's not going to be anybody bearing down on you. Um, there's not going to be anybody running up, running up to you, any of that stuff right there. You should just be able to hit the shot and be good to go. And that's how I feel about this shot, man. Um, this is just one that I just made up. And I just want to show it to y'all real quick, not to waste too much time, because I don't want this to be no long video. And uh, like, I, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. That one thing that you need to know as a shooter, there are two, at least two animations to every shot, right? So you got the immediate catch animation where he goes up quickly, and then you got this catch animation where he squares up, and then you do it. And that one is always a little bit slower. So if you can't catch the timing, you know, you need to learn the timing for both. So you know what you're looking at, but I tried to I tried to make every jump shot so that when you see his hand go flat, no matter how much time it takes to do that, you can just let it go then. So for like immediate catch timing, boom. I mean, it didn't go flat, but I ain't green it. Okay, there we go, green. And then watch this. This one will be a little bit slower because he got to come all the way up. Either way, if you let it go when his hand goes flat, you're gonna hit the jump shot. I was using my um. My other jump shot last night, the Ray Allen variant, but I don't, um, you know, I didn't feel like I was hitting as much as I wanted to. I wasn't as comfortable with it. I know T wasn't as comfortable with it. And so he will he will be happy to know that I've gone back to this jump shot and I've modified it just for y'all. So let's just get to it real quick, man. Uh, first off, these are the badges that I'm rocking. Um, you can do this if you want to. If you feel like the jump shot's too slow, Put it on Hall of Fame, quick draw. You know, drop some stuff down, get you some better quick draws and all of that good stuff. It's still gonna be when his hand goes flat. These are the best shooting badges. If you if you are one of those people that just shoots from the corner, or if you shoot from your hot zones, you can do, you know, you can do this and change it around. But I really only shoot from the corner. So if I did anything, I made any changes, I'd do this. Go catch and shoot. Go corner specialist. Uh, go quick draw or go hot zone hunter. Like I said, you shouldn't be shooting the ball with anybody in your face or bearing down upon you anyway. So you should be good to go with this. That's how I feel about it. Now, to the jump shot. This is the part y'all have been waiting for, man. Let's let's get this out here for you real quick. And then we're going to go from there. Um, like I said, we don't want to make this no long video. This is the jump shot right here. Base 24. Base set shot 24. Not jump shot 24. Set shot 24. And then release 134 and release 14. That's what you want to use right there. Use those two. You should be able to cash these joints in no matter what. 
And like I said, the quick draw really depends on you. You can really use whatever releases you want to use, but just know that the bass itself, Coyote, what's happening? The bass itself is really what's going to, you know, make the shot. And like I said, I had to tweak it just a little bit because with this shot, what was happening was if I wasn't far enough away, I was shooting a lot of twos. And, and you know, we not here to shoot no twos, man. We out here to shoot threes. Y'all saw I just put on that gold quick draw, so it's gonna make it a little bit faster. I gotta actually look at the shot now. This sucks when you change something in the middle of a video. But, hey, we'll find the happy medium. I, like I said, I didn't see a big difference between using uh, gold quick draw on this shot. I didn't see a big difference between using gold and silver quick draw. You may see a huge difference with Silver Hall of Fame, but look, this is what I saw, man. I just said, hey, we're going to use this one, and we're going to rock with it. And uh, as soon as you see his hand go flat, you're going to let it go. Now that I'm used to it, we should be we should be cashing. But like I said, man, this, this is the jump shot. If you got a big man and you feel like um, – I should have left it on Silver, to be honest, which is just because the time it throws off. But if you got a big man and you feel like uh, you're missing more shots – at least give it a try. Tell your big man to give it a try. Tell your big man to see what's going on and uh, see if he likes it. And if you're hitting more shots, bro, it don't matter. It doesn't matter what it looks like, right? As long as you're hitting more shots. It is ugly. It does seem slow. It seems like you can't get it off. But if you're helping your team win more games, who cares? Hey, they're going to be asking them, hey, bro, where your big man? What that? What's your big man's jump shot? Hey, you're going to be like, hey, Better watch Jay Easy video. So y'all make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Get this joint to 500 likes. Let me know what y'all think. Try it with Silver Quick Draw first. And then, once you try it with Silver Quick Draw, come back and try it with uh, Gold Quick Draw if you feel like that's too slow or whatever. But like I said, I've had the most success. I've had the most success with Silver Quick Draw. So I would leave it on Silver. Because it don't matter if you can get the shot off fast, right? If you missing... Why, why does it matter how fast you're getting the shot off? You know what I'm saying? If you're missing. None of that stuff is important. The only thing that's important is can I, whether or not I can hit the shot. And uh, just put it where you're comfortable. Don't try to use these other quick draws just because somebody else say you need to or whatever because you change to another quick draw and then you're not comfortable with the shot. You're going to be missing. And then it's not going to be good for anybody. Then they're gonna, they still going to be fussing. They'll be like, no, bro, you could have got that one shot off if you had on gold quick draw, right? That's what they're gonna tell you. Or you can hit all of them. If you put on, you can hit way more if you put on silver. So, you know, whatever you do, try to get used to it, practice the shot, do all this stuff, man. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is one of the best jump shots of big man. If you wanna use it, use it. If you don't, hey, it is what it is. But like I said, I feel like with silver quick draw, it's the best. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Got speed. Coyote. Holla at them, man. Why are you trying to sneak in here and don't say nothing, man? Holla at the folks, man. What's wrong with you? Alright, I'll go.